Um, the clues that you have are you've been given the words. Martin has brown hair, Roxana has brown hair. You don't know their genotype. If they have brown hair, they could be purebred, which means both their letters are the same. That means the same thing as homozygous dominant. Or they could be heterozygous. You can't tell just by looking at a dominant individual which one they are. Same thing with my brown hair, same thing with Bella's brown hair. You can't tell just by looking at us what our genotype is. Connor, however, has the recessive phenotype, and that means you do know what his genotype is. The only way you can show the recessive phenotype is if you have both recessive alleles. So somewhere in this Punnett square for my family, there has to be a child, the children go on the inside, that is little b, little b, because Connor's my child. In order for him to have two little b's, he had to receive one little b from each parent. That means both his mom, Martin, Roxana, and his dad, Martin, had to each have a little b in them. So we've narrowed it down. We're not homozygous dominant. Both of us are pure uh, heterozygous for the color of our hair. Bella, on the other hand, could be homozygous dominant, or she might be heterozygous. And in fact, she's more likely to be heterozygous than homozygous because there's a two, the genotypic ratio is there's only a one in four chance of her being homozygous dominant compared to a two in four chance of her being heterozygous. And that's all there is for her. She's obviously, she isn't this one in four chance of being blonde. So really there's a two to one ratio of her being heterozygous compared to being homozygous. Um, each time we have a child, they have a one in four chance of being blonde, a one in four chance of being homozygous dominant, and a two in four or 50% chance of being heterozygous for brown hair, just like both of us are.